Hi y'all, Code Reviews here, and today we're going to be reviewing the legendary bounty hunter from space, Samus from Metroid, and more specifically, Super Smash Bros. The Amiibo, of course. <coughs> so, um, uh, let's just get right into the review. Now, focus, thank you. Now, this amiibo is pretty gosh darn rawsome. Uh, she looks straight out of the game. Her paint job is essentially perfect. There's nothing you could really spot wrong with it. Her pose, a little detailing, everything about this from uh, amiibo is fan. Fantastic, and I and I love it. It's she looks so cool. She, they got the colors just right, and the little details and the shine. Everything about this is great. Now, if we look at the head, I said look at the third. Thank you. And see, she's got a very small head when compared to the rest of the body, but it's just so detailed. She's got her little green mask and like the and these little like seams in her helmet and stuff because it's put together. She's got these little gray pieces where the helmets connect. All these little like ridges and details. She's got the little silver pieces that look like they carry her oxygen. Her little mask and her like little breathing apparatus. It looks really sick and you can also see that her neck area is like this gray air color. It's kind of hard to see what exactly it's supposed to be, but it looks really sick. She's got these little like thrusters on her back. They look pretty good. Very shiny, very cool. Uh, very well detailed with all the lines and the thrusters themselves look pretty great. She's got these huge shoulder pads. They look really awesome. You can see this little bit of yellow on the lines. Very, very shiny and very, very cool looking. It's kind of a repeat on the side. On this arm, you can see that it's like got this silver piece connecting the arm to the shoulder. Looks very nice, very cool. It's got this underneath gray piece. Also looks very awesome, very cool. The orange. Connects down to there, and then connects to her hand through the little gray pieces. She's got this little yellow spot on her hand. And you can see that her hands are, and that her hand is in this like little, local pose. Looks very good. Um, her chest plate, plate, I guess, you know, this giant triangle. Looks really sick, and it protrudes out pretty good. Got this like little these yellow lines and these I don't know, this really sharp edge and these like little spaces. Then her yellow big yellow piece in the middle look is like the shiniest piece of mm, of all. It's got so many little ridges and little like almost gills. Or not quite, you know. And all the little, like different shapes and all the little gray pat parts on the back make it look like it's over something. She's got on her connecting her legs to her yellow bit. She's got these like little lines. I don't know what you'd call these. These are pretty cool though. Makes it look like she can actually move in them. You got the same thing on her legs. These really cool gray pieces, and, you know, looks very good. The inside of her legs have little, like, I don't know what you'd call this, but whatever this is, it's got those, making it look like she can move. Same thing with her arms. I realize that's what it is now. This, whatever, like some sort of rubber. Looks very cool. Her legs, on the inside of her leg, are a different color from the outside, which is very nice detailing. Looks very good. It's got these little yellow spots. 
I really like the knee parts, they look very good, uh, very pointy, very sharp, her shoes, you know, her shoes, but they look pretty good, I, I don't like the, the stand, I think that's a bit of unnecessary, it looks kind of dumb, but, you know, you don't notice it from the front, you just notice how awesome it looks. Um, her cannon, her arm cannon looks sick as all heck. It's got all these, like, little sci-fi lights on. And this big old thing, I don't know. There's a lot of things that I don't know what they're called, because, you know, they don't have an official name, because they're, like, sci-fi weapons. But, you know, it's got this, like, little ventilation part, and then you look up the thing. And you look up her arm thruster, and it's actually a different color inside the arm thruster than the outside. Like, you know, like she could actually shoot you with it. Which is just, mwah, wonderful detailing. I love this amiibo. If I had to rate him, i rate her on a scale of 1 to 10. Probably like a, a 9.2. It's pretty sick if you like Metroid. Smash Bros, anything really, then you're probably gonna like, uh, like her, she looks sick, um, I definitely recommend it, if you can find her for a good price, cause, you know, she's kind of old, uh, for a amiibo, and so I don't think they make her anymore, so it makes me very happy that I have one, so, it's very cool, um, the new Smash Bros game, can't wait for that. That's gonna be sick. And if you follow my channel, you know I review a bunch of Funko Pops. And so really exciting stuff is happening between Nintendo and Funko apparently. Because Ninten uh, Funko just got the rights to, well, theoretically, in, in, I guess you could call it a rumor, basically, because they like mined it from Funko's database, but Besides the point, but that they got a deal with Pokemon going on right now, and they're going to be able to release a Pokemon Funko Pop, which could potentially mean an entire Nintendo series of Funko Pops. Which I love the Amiibo, I love the Funko Pop, Funko Pops. But the one thing I like more than both of them are Nintendo Funko Pops. So uh, like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Toodles.